So uh, this infotainment system is powered by Android and that means that uh, we have Android, the complete system, and we are working with Google. So we have Google Assistant, Google Maps and Google Play Store in this car. As you see here for the center display, we have a 11 inch center display together with a 12.3 inch uh, driver display. So we can shortly go through the tiles here. We have the climate here. It's very easy uh, to change. Also, you can do like this, then you have left and right hand. Uh, of course, you can have uh, heat in your uh, seat and also in the uh, steering wheel. So it's there. If you do like this, you will have the main climate. And here you have uh, different directions for the fans to use. Also the AC and press here. It's really easy for the customer. Right now the climate isn't working, that's why it's so hot inside. <laughs> Uh, and here, if we go here, we have the 360 camera, it's the bird eye view. So we have one camera in the front, one in the rear, and one on each side of the exterior mirror. Also here you see that we have the Google Maps on this quarter, and we have Spotify here. Then you can choose exactly the same as you do on your phone. You can press and drag, press and drag, and then you open the home. And then it has changed it. So you can customize it uh, and do it as exactly as you prefer it, the customer. We also have the uh, profile that you, you can use and the driver settings. So here you can change the settings in the car. The steering is no problem. The region braking and here we have three uh, different levels of region braking. And this one you can also see here in the driver display where you actually see if you press the acceleration pedal you will have a power bar going for the power on the right hand side and when you release it will go on the left hand side and actually charge the car. So it's really easy for the customer to understand how to drive an electrical car. Uh, for the functions, uh, we have uh, a lot of safety functions. Uh, since Polestar is owned 50% by Volvo, we have Volvo in our bags and have all the functions, uh, safety functions from Volvo in this car. Regarding charging, we also have uh, uh, charging, uh, so you can set uh, the charging level if you want to charge to 80% or if you want to charge to 60% or whatever. It's very easy here to set. And then we can start with the Google Assistance. So we can start and say something generic and say, or hi Google, hey Google, what's my calendar for tomorrow? Tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. visit Mamco. At 1.30 p.m. lunch with Thomas. At 6 p.m., go for a run. So it's very easy. You can say either, hey Google, you can say, okay Google, or you press this one. Uh, if we go here and schedule a, a route, then you see the Google Maps. You've seen it before, I guess. And here you have the different settings. So it's actually the same as in your phone. You can see the traffic situation, if there is a, a lot of traffic jam. You can also go to the satellite and also here see uh, the different map views. And here you can add an address or if you want to speak with the voice system instead or you take a recent one. So for this one we can take a recent one, we go to the zoo in Zurich. And here it takes three hours and nine minutes to go there. And when you are at the zoo, you will have 20% left of charging. So if we press that one, we can ask the assistant maybe for uh, charging stations. And then we just say, hey Google, show me the nearby charging stations. Then you will show the charging stations on the route. If you don't want to speak with the assistance, you can also press the here and then you will see the same thing. Of course you will all, uh, also be able to filter with restaurants and all that other stuff along the route, 
And it's no problem to show that either, for instance. So it's very easy for you as a customer and very convenient. We also have, as I said earlier, the Google Play Store. And here you will have all the available apps uh, by the automotive industry. So it needs to be automotive approved uh, for you to download. Here we also have the multimedia uh, or the media player. So here we have Spotify. Or if you want to use the Google Play or the books, you can also do that. Uh, you can very easily uh, just increase volume by saying, hey Google, increase volume please. All right. And then it will just increase volume. Or you turn this uh, here or you press here. So it's very easy and you as a customer can uh, do the choice by yourself. And this is an uh, ecosystem de developed uh, and uh, we are really happy to be a part of that. And since we have over there an update in this car, it means that we can update both software and features and functions all the time. So you will never have any old maps or old apps. So it's always updated. So for the voice system here as well, if we press the uh, Spotify in this uh, car we have Harman Kardon premium sound it's 13 speakers uh, across the car with 600 watts and here you actually see the Harman Kardon pattern on top of the instrument panel and also you see on the door you have a, a button that is Harman Kardon uh, branded and over the speakers you see that we have a beautiful textile inspired by the furniture industry. So in the car we are sitting in right now, we have a Weave Tech. It's a complete uh, vegan interior. It's 100% uh, leather free. So the Weave Tech are in two colors, in slate and in charcoal. And this one is in, sh in slate, together with a, a black ash deco, it's a wood deco. In the, uh, the white car we will have a, a it's a textile, it's a shoko textile together with a 3D edge deco. And you see the deco also around uh, the tunnel and it's illuminated so you actually see this part is floating in the tunnel. And you see the jewel of the gear shifter with the illuminated uh, logo. And that one you also see above the overhead console actually. So here you see it's projected on the panoramic roof. Uh, so you can see it both from the inside and from the outside. So here we also have the cup holder of course. Uh, you can drag the armrest nearer to the front and also fold it 180 degrees and there you will have another cup holder that you can take away if you want. It's no problem. In the front here we have uh, a charging for your phone. We have two USB-C's and we also have two USB-C's in the rear of the tunnel. Like this. And also, uh, I forgot to mention regarding the driver display. If you, for instance, have the Google Maps here, maybe you don't want this one. You can just easily change so you have a calm view or a concentric view. It's up to you what you prefer when you drive the car. <laughs> Any other questions? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things that you'll have to see how it is when you drive it. Yeah, you know? it is. Yeah, uh, and how totally easy it is to use. Yeah, but it, it seems fairly easy and intuitive. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. 